hello guys this is Pramod and welcome to my tutorial on protector so protector is a basically an end-to-end -end web application testing framework and it is developed by Google and uh, so let's get started with this in this series I am going to discuss the basic installation of protector and we'll be running a sample test in the first video and in the second video I'm going to discuss mainly about what is protector and what exactly the jas jasmine is and we will basically learn about their basics and second part of that video will be including how we can test how we can get the locators in the band in the protector in the third video uh, we are going to discuss about how we can generate a particular very good looking reports of our test cases and how we can get certain logs and debug our main pro main protector test cases in the fourth video we are going to discuss how we can run some data driven testing on a demo app that i have installed in my local server and in the last we are going to discuss how we can integrate a particular docker image to test out certain test cases of our protector and fully automate our full automatic test test suite into a Jenkins. So let's get started with first first video. So now the question is, what exactly is the protector? So protector, as I've already told you, it's an end-to-end -end test framework for Angular JS application. It's basically runs against your application in a real-world browser, like a simple user is going getting interacted with your application. It's basically used for testing angular js applications but now you can also test uh, non rank non angular js applications also using because it's or it's a wrapper of webdriver.js if you have any idea of how web, uh, web JS, then it's basically an add on to that one so the be best part about protector is that it's it has automatic weighting means you don't have you don't need to add weights and sleeps in your cave in your code anymore so for example if you have if you have any made any java test cases in selenium you have to implicitly add certain kind of weights and sleeps to run your test against on a real world use like a real world user but here in protector you doesn't need that so protector will automatically handle all kind of things so let's install protector in our local machine. I will be covering mainly about the Windows part, but similar part can be done in Macintosh and uh, Linux also. So very, it's a very simple process. You can just first you have to just install the Node.js on your machine. You can just go to nodejs.org and download the latest binary. I have a 64 by 64 bit binary binary already installed on my system, so I will not be covering that much part. So next part will be. Uh, installing the no, node package of protector in your local machine so you just, just go to command prompt after installing the node.js i will recommend you to install before that java jdk if you don't know about major java, java jdk let's uh, i will show you the url of the java jdk where you can install that you can just go to the website uh, oracle.com slash tech uh, tech nerd words like java and you can just google that java jdk and you can just install according to your version and uh, if you have already if you have installed the full uh, if you have installed the particular uh, protector in your machine you can see that protector version you can protect you can see the protector version in your command line using protector dash dash version command so uh, after that, what you need to run a simple test cases is to that uh, you have to update your web driver, web driver manager. So protector comes with already a web driver, web driver manager already is integrated in the protector. So what exactly we can do is that we just have to do a run first this command web driver manager space update to update certain driver that protector already has. So after that, you can just start the web uh, web driver to run your test cases test cases for the protector protector. If you have started the web driver, you can see when you can see that in the local host colon four four four, you have a particular web application running that is a basically a Selenium Selenium con grid console is already running on that one. 
So it's a basically a hub where you can just create sessions and protector can run their test cases or there over there. So I will be I will be covering a basic simple sample test case. It's a very simple test case where uh, generally uh, what I will doing I will discuss in next slide. So what exactly protector needs? Uh, so protector needs two files to run a spec file and configuration file. So how? Uh, so basic question. So question was how we can run a pro simple protection test. So we need two files only. If you have a basics of JavaScript, I will suggest you to have it. And if you don't have, you can just follow around and uh, see what kind. See the code and you can just learn it. What exactly is going on? So configuration file is a basically a file which tells about the Selenium web address that we have already started using the web driver manager start command. And you can just tell the file spec.js where it is. So spec.js is basically a your file containing the logic of lo locators where you how you can just interact with your application and test you. So uh, here in the simple example, what we are going to do is we will navigate to the angular.js uh, org and type a text scroll test and we will capture the text of the h1 tags and verify the text with our actual result that is already that we have already so here's a sample uh, uh, config file that i have included so it includes two things only selenium address that we have given and a spec file that is spec.js so uh, as i already discussed with you selenium address is a basically a config uh, it's a basically a path of where the selenium server is running and the second one is a path of the spec file where it is uh, currently situated so let's create a spec file. Spec file is basically uh, it's a jasmine. If you jasmine uh, just jasmine test cases, if you have no idea about the jasmine, just follow around. And in the next tutorial, I'm go eventually going to discuss what exactly the jasmine is there. So it's a very simple uh, test case where we have a describe block. In the describe block, we have a simple function calling a it block. It block containing uh, containing a basic test cases where we have we are expecting a certain text to be appear. Uh, with our actual result. So here, if you can see in the global browser variable, we are just navigating to angular.js and passing a key scroll test. And in the gg1 variable, we are getting that uh, what exactly we have in the h1 tag. And we are just expecting that it, it will be a hello scroll test. So that's a basic simple uh, test case where that we have. So let's start with this demo how we can uh, execute that test. So I have already uh, I have already written certain test cases in my sublime test text. So here is the test case for that and uh, here is the config file if you want to see. And so what I'm going to hear is that first of all, I'll go to command, my command line and I will type web driver. So dot manager and start the web driver. And it's, it's going to run and you can see here it's already running on this one, already running on this uh, particular port. And what we are going to uh, do is that we will run a protector version to see first of all what kind of version we have. And after that, I am already on that folder. So I can just type config.js and hit enter. And so uh, as soon as I hit, hit enter, it's automatically uh, open that particular browser for me. And if you can see here, it, okay, it's already run. So it's immediately just run the uh, test cases and here we are seeing that what's cap spec and zero failure. So it means our test case already passed. So that's all. It's a very simple test case and uh, sim simple test case that I have created and it's already getting passed. So here, here uh, in the execution. Uh, so what, what I have done, I have come uh, open a command prompt and typed uh, web driver manager and start. And after that, I have just run a particular command of protector slash config.js and automatically it's right, already uh, started that particular uh, test case and I ha it has run it. So in the, so, so this is the sample test uh, cases that I have done. So that's all from my side for this first tutorial. It's a basically, so it was a basic, I know it was a very basic and running a sample test cases. So in the next topic will be protector and jasmine basics and locators. So if you have liked this video, please like, uh, please subscribe to my channel and like this video and share with among your friends. Uh, it's very, very 
humble for me i have just started my first videos uh, this will be my first uh, course that i am going to discuss with you guys so like subscribe and give and see you bye peace